Hey guys, welcome back in TypeScript 5 for Attitude Beginner's course. In this lecture, we will see the understanding of functions and scope in TypeScript. Under this topic, we will cover defining and calling functions, parameters and arguments, variable scope and lifetime, and arrow functions. First, let's talk about functions. A function is a small reusable block of code that performs a specific task acting like a well-defined algorithm. Let's see in a coding example that how we can create our functions. For the sake of creation of our function, first we will write a keyword function and then the name of that function. And in this function, I'm going to print hello world. Now this is called the definition of the function. This function will execute when we will call it. So in TypeScript, this is the way we call our functions. Let's run the application and see what it prints on the output window. So this function prints hello world. Next, let's understand what are the parameters and arguments. Parameters are placeholders for input values in a function definition and arguments are the actual values passed to the function when it is called. First, let's implement parameters. Let's define the function and pass parameter in it. So in this sum function, I have passed two parameters param1 and param2 of type number. Now after colon, I am writing the return type. And let's return param1 plus param2. We can also save these both param1 and param2 to an other variable and then return that variable. Next, let's see what are the function arguments. Arguments we pass in our function while calling the function. I am going to calling this sum function and passing the arguments in it. So this 12 and 11 are arguments and param1 and param2 both are parameters. Let's console.log sum. It will return the sum of both 12 and 11. After execution, it returns 23, which was the sum of both 12 and 11. So this was the difference between arguments and parameters. Next, let's see what are the variable scope and lifetime. Variable scope indicates where a variable can be used. And variable lifetime represents how long a variable stays in the computer's memory. One is local variable and second is global variable. Let's see both the type of variables in a practical example. Global variables are variables which declare outside all the program constructs like functions or constructors. So these can be accessible everywhere in the program. Like I'm going to write var global variable is equal to 23. Now we can access this variable in this entire program. As you can see, now I can access this variable even in inside the function or outside the function. It's up to me. Next, we have local variable. Local variable scope is limited to the body of the blocks only. As you can see, in this function, we have our local variable result. It's available throughout this function, but outside this function, we can't access it. Its scope is only limited in this function. Then we can also have block level variables. Like here we have factor at the block level. It's only accessible in this if block. And outside of this if block, we can't access this factor variable. At the end of this lecture, we have arrow functions. Arrow functions are a concise way to create anonymous function using the fat arrow notations in TypeScript. Arrow functions are basically a new way to write anonymous function expressions are similar to lambda in other programming languages. It is also called the fat arrow. The arrow function has a lexical scoping of this keyword. Because of arrow functions, we do not need to type the word function multiple times. Let's see its example. Now let's write the sum function using this arrow annotation. Let sum equal. Now let's write the parameters. Num1 of type number. Num2 of type number. Then this fat arrow annotation and number one plus number two. Now what this arrow function will do? This function will take two parameters num1 and num2 and then sum of these two numbers number one and number two and then store the result in some variable. 
Now let's call this error function var result equal sum 12 and 11. Let's console.log it to see the result on output window. Let's execute it. So this is the way we execute our error functions. If this lecture is helpful for you, then please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thanks for watching.